Hello everyone, I hope that we're all doing well and vibrating at the highest possible frequencies we can. Today is December 21st. As by popular request, I will be doing a video to explain in simple terms what this means for us. I will be also talking about what you should be doing, the steps you should be taking simply to take full advantage of the energy. And as a bonus, I will be supplying you with affirmations you need to start by today, year round. Let's go. I've seen December 21st go by a lot of names recently, such as the Solar Plexus, the Great Conjunction, the Great Awakening, the Winter Solstice. I know there's more, I just can't think of it right now. But why are there so many names for this event? Well, there's been many interpretations, but like this is the fact. Saturn and Jupiter are basically meeting up super duper close and aligning at the axes of about zero degrees. Well, I would say a little bit less than 0 0.1 degrees to be exact. This event has not happened since 1623. Well, you know what? It's happened in 2000, but they haven't been this close since 1623. On this day, it will also be the longest night and the shortest day of the year because the sun is the farthest from the earth. Also, it also marks the first day of Capricorn season. And last but not least, the Great Conjunction is actually also referred to as the Great Awakening because the energy of the universe will be shifting from 3D to 5D. Now, if you're new to the spiritual stuff, I'm going to slow down a bit, talk about how this is going to benefit you, and come back to 3D and 5D because I don't want to confuse you and I don't want to lose you. This event is set to go down for about 8 p.m. EST, December 21st, 2020. I believe the energy is going to dwindle a bit, you know, linger for a bit and like, you know, spread onto the new year. So don't worry if, you know, it's not just December 21st. Don't start to freak out because you missed it. No, you're supposed to hone this energy from the beginning, but if you don't, don't worry about it. Now, if you were able to catch this video or basically just learn about what's going to go on before the conjunction, you know, occurs, what I would do is the first thing I would do if I were you that I'm going to tell you guys to do, I don't even care about sounding pushy. I'm telling you guys is to set your intentions for now the new year the new coming age because it's about to get crazy nothing is going to be the same shout out to drake nothing's going to be the same we're entering also into a fourth industrial and revolution we're going technical baby we're going from the pisces era to the age of aquarius the pisces era was full of materialistic items the age of aquarius is technology we're going into technology so all these rumors that you're hearing about microchipping doesn't sound too far off from the truth so let's go back to what you should be taking the steps you should be taking in order to take full advantage of this event set your intentions write down on a piece of paper i write down in my journals what i want I suggest you get journals that are just used for setting your intentions. You write, I'm so happy and grateful that I was able to acquire, insert what you want to acquire in your life. So say it's a new job, you say exactly what you want from that job, but you state it like you already have it. I'm so happy and grateful that I acquired this job at this time. You put an end date on it because you don't want to waste your whole lifetime to get it. You want it then and there, so you state it. You state your intentions. You don't get what you don't ask for. You ask for everything of your desire. Make sure it's it's for the good of all. 
Now, I heard of multiple techniques in manifesting certain things, but if you're a beginner, I would say stick to writing it out once, but after you write it down, you don't just put it down, no. As you write it, as you write, I'm so happy and grateful that this occurs at this time. You know what you have to do? You don't just put it down to the side, no. You visualize it. When you're visualizing it and you see it, you feel the you feel the emotion. You act like you got it already, you know? Like how would you feel if you got a phone call and somebody said you got the job? Wouldn't you smile your ass off? Wouldn't you feel all warm inside like someone's giving you a hug? Like you did it or a pat on the back? Right? So make sure you feel those emotions and you visualize it and you write it down, you know? The second thing that I would do is writing down everything you are grateful for. Literally what this does is you are increasing your vibration. The higher you vibrate, the easier it is to manifest what you want. Uh, it's so simple, but like a lot of people gloss over it. And like, you know, when you gloss over it, you miss, you know, the steps that you need in order to be successful. It just doesn't work out for you. Something that's so minuscule, people think is at ah, whatever. No, you need to be grateful for the things you already have in order to manifest more of what you want. So that's the second step. The third step is that you meditate. You meditate. I'm not talking about yoga because like a lot of people have been saying that yoga is demonic. No, when I say meditate, I mean make sure you surround yourself with people who also increase your vibrations. And if you can't think of anybody who increases your vibrations, then baby boy, baby girl, stay by yourself. Meditate by yourself. When I say meditate, you're also setting your intentions. So when you're by yourself, quietness, you know, you think about positive things. You don't think about what you don't want, no. You think about the positive things you want to acquire in your lifetime. Me, I find that I do a lot of meditation in the shower. And I write down my intentions in the whiteboard of my shower. And guys, guys, it's crazy. You know, like literally, sometimes like I would write these things on my whiteboard in the shower. And then I write them down and I forget about it because like the whiteboard's full. Guys, a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, I meant to say, I came back. I made an order, right? I didn't consult the whiteboard when I made this order. I made this order, a bulk order, like invested in this product. I was selling this product, and then I looked in my shower and I seen. I asked the question. I was like, in order to achieve this goal, what do we need to do? Then I came up with that solution. And then I just left it. See, my subconscious was working now because I set the intention that that's what I wanted to do. And I didn't think about it when I was making the order. I didn't think about it when I started selling out. I didn't think about it until I checked my whiteboard. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, I, I actually, like, I wanted this to happen. And it's happening. So sorry for going off on a tangent there, guys. I feel like that's an important example. But... Yes, meditate. Meditation is so important so you can do a deep dive inside you, you know, calm, release all the stress and anxiety so you actually know what you want for your greatest, higher self, right? Meditation is so important. Third, the third thing that I would do is charge your crystals if you are a crystal owner. See, I just got this lovely, 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 lovely citron jewel. It's so beautiful. It's just, I don't know. I use citron for abundance, happiness, creativity, you know, like um, money. Oh my gosh guys i love the way this crystal works and if i could if I, if I have a chance to make this work work like it's already working if i can make it work 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 like you know <laughs> then i swear guys i don't know like it's gonna be crazy 
but I've been manifesting things like crazy lately. So I'm sorry, I keep on going off on these tangents because I'm so passionate. That's why people keep telling me to make these videos, but I was meditating, guys. I was trying to, was trying to hone in that energy. Anyways, charge your crystals. Like I said, I just got it. I don't know how to charge crystals yet, but I will be doing YouTube searches. And I think you guys should use up all your resources at your fingertips because if you're watching this video, then you're also going to be able to search these crystal hacks. So if you own crystals, make sure you charge that baby up because that energy, you know, it's it's a it's a wall socket in the air. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that would be funny to say. And last but not least, start something huge. Start a business. Start something you've always wanted to do but you had anxiety, you had like second doubts, but this time around, just go on in for it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it too much, sorry. But yeah, guys, um, start something huge. Start something that you know you have to start, but you've been procrastinating because your anxiety hits. Make sure you do it this time, all gas, no brakes. Start that business, start that dream, start that mission, whatever it is that you know you're supposed to start, but you don't know if you have the resources, you don't know if you have enough money, just do it. Just jump into it. Just like whatever you can do, do it. The energy is superb for that. And last but not least, Increase your vibrations to the highest frequency you can reach. If you were around toxic people, if you live in the house of toxic people, I'm so sorry. I'm about to be put in that situation as well. You know, I won't say too much about that, but it's a holiday, so I'm pretty sure we can put two and two together. If you're going to be around toxic people that you cannot control, control yourself. Find it within yourself to understand that the person is just going to be like that. They have limits. And obviously one of their limits is dispersing negative energy. And you're already oblivious to it and you're already in, you are aware that it's going to happen. So you know how to conduct yourself, especially during these amazing times, would you really allow for somebody to decrease your vibration, decrease your blessings? Like, you know, I would say you would, if you are living amongst the people who bring you a lot of distress or just like, you know, toxic vibes, I'm going to say you need to channel yourself. You need to program yourself. And basically just program yourself to the point where you know this is going to happen but it doesn't phase you i'm sorry but that's just something you're gonna have to do in order to feed your higher self and guess what at the end of the day you just feel so good about it imagine saying wow this person really like i feel really bad for this person i really hope they heal while they're like doing the toxic thing instead of crying you know how good that's gonna make you feel? It's gonna make you feel like you're superior to low actions and low thoughts. But yeah, so um, also with increasing your vibration, watch the music you're intaking. Watch the food you're eating. Stay away from processed foods and try to go for alkaline foods. Like try Dr. Shavy's alkaline diet. You want to be as healthy as possible. You want to be able to basically just fuel yourself. You want to like, you know, think about it. Would you put cheap gas in an Audi or in a BMW or an expensive premium car? Not really. So why would you want to put that in yourself? How would those cars run with the cheap synthetic gases? They won't run properly. So why would you want to do that to yourself? So ensure that you are radiating and vibrating at the highest possible frequency that you can. 
And as a recap, if you are around those people constantly and you don't really have a way to get away from it, then you, my dear, are going to have to program yourself. Now that we are a little bit more caught up on spirituality for my newly awakening spiritual babies, let's talk about 3D shifting to 5D. So 3D is the energy of basically materialism, fending for themselves, like, you know, more of like, I would say we're detached from each other. Shifting into 5D means that humanity comes together. We are more connected. It's a spiritual awakening because we are supposed to be shifting into love, the energy of love. And I'm so excited for that, and guys, I'm already feeling that energy today. I did a random act of kindness, and it felt so good. I wanted to cry, literally. Like, guys. I also got a little red candle because, as we know, colors are spiritual energy fields that are visible to us if you guys don't know what i mean well um i made a whole video i guess on my tiktok today trying to talk about what each color really represents and what i do in order to channel the aura that i desire is i actually use my led lights so right now my led lights are pink i got that red candle because pink and red are like you know they they symbolize love unconditional love basically love that does not expect any love in return so basically just given unconditional love and that's the vibe that i'm on right now i can't wait till the rest of the world is or even just you know a fraction it's gonna be a whole better place even though the world is lovely but Oh my gosh, guys, aren't you guys like, excited? Oh my gosh, I didn't even take it wearing a pink outfit. What the, what? That's crazy, that's crazy. I didn't even take it, I just like, you know, just picked it up. But, <laughs> that's so funny. But yeah, that's 3D going into 5D. Um, I know I did not explain it to like the full extent because I also don't really know what else to say about it. But to my knowledge and what I'm satisfied with is that we're shifting into a higher consciousness, meaning a lot of people will be starting their spiritual journeys, such as you and potentially, such as me and potentially you. For instance, I started my spiritual journey, let's be realistic, about a year and a half ago when I started being known as Manifest Mom because I realized, wow. You know, like, this stuff is real and I do it steadily. Like, I don't miss. I don't miss. That's the crazy thing. Like, it's undeniably there. The energy's there. Sp like, you know, sp being spiritual is real. It's not a gimmick that you see all the time. Like, I feel like the bone I have to pick with TikTok is that I feel like they're making a mockery of our spirituality. And, you know, it starts basically watering down and making spirituality more of a joke. It starts, yeah. Like some people, like, you know, it kind of makes a mockery of those people who are invested in that and basically, you know, build their life upon the very notion. Like, I don't know. I'm really happy that a lot of us are starting our spiritual journeys, but for those people who mock it, you know, it's kind of lame. But yeah, um, so yeah, recap, 3D is basically going to 5D and it's basically the great awakening, higher consciousness, higher vibrations of love, and basically a lot of people figuring out what their calling is, their spiritual calling. For instance, I figured this out for me. My spiritual calling is 
basically helping people find their potential i love it when people finally realize that hey i'm the shit i'm gonna talk about me because i know i'm the shit but i love when i help people realize that they're the shit as well because we're all the shit i keep it's just that sometimes we don't have enough guidance to figure that out and you know guidance can look like a couple words of encouragement it can look like supplying the person with information that they need in order to educate themselves you know but yeah my higher calling is you know manifest mommy just basically putting you guys on affirmations in order to develop your life into the life of your dreams because i'm telling you i don't miss i never miss thank god thank you god i love you i exalt you i'm so happy and grateful Every time I write, I affirm, I manifest. And that's why I manifest mommy. Because I never miss. By the grace of God. By the grace of the universe. And by the grace of myself. Because we all create our own realities. I know it's a hard pill to swallow because a lot of religions tell you that. No, no you don't. Well, no. God has enabled us to be able to create our own realities. But yeah. Now that we spoke about December 21st and what that could potentially mean for you and I and how we should prepare to take full advantage of the cosmic energy, let's talk about affirmations. Very game changing. Here are 10 powerful affirmations that you need to recite regularly all throughout this era. If you do, I promise you, if you believe and you feel gratitude, these things will change your life and make the age of Aquarius work for you. The first one is, I break free from all limitations in my lifestyle. I enter a year of abundance for the good of myself and the good of others. I am vibrating in the highest frequency of truth and love right now. I am full of gratitude in each and every moment. I was created in the likeliness of God who has enabled me to create my own realities. Everything I need is within. I have a lot to offer the world. Now I think that was the 11th affirmation I might have just given you as a bonus. Because I could do this all day, like, you know, realistically. But let's not make this video too long. So those affirmations are crucial if you want to dominate this age of Aquarius that we are entering. So um, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of affirmations on that particular link in my bio. It's my blog. I wrote about affirmations for the Great Awakening, the Great Conjunction, the Age of Aquarius. So out of those 11, there's lots, of, uh, there's lots of other affirmations that you can use to give yourself leverage during this age of Aquarius. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I actually enjoyed making it. This is the first actual sit down talk about spirituality I've actually done and it was so much fun. Shout out to all those people who urged me to make this video i wouldn't have done it without you guys literally like it's super duper fun i'll definitely be doing more of these videos if you guys could comment what you want to see more of what topics you would like me to speak of because i could, I could go about this for hours but i understand that you guys have an attention span so i will respect that and try to keep this video a little bit over 10 minutes like I said, I really appreciate you guys for watching to the very end. I'm wishing you guys nothing but success and love and harmony. 
in the new age that we are entering love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video by the way if you enjoyed what i was talking about please drop a like and subscribe because i will be doing a lot more of this